because I just remember coming from the weak side to close down a player that was going to roll out from a throw in. My left foot planted, I slipped, and then as I slipped I think her body contact as she rolled out knocked my body weight over my leg and yeah I just remember in that moment it was excruciating pain. I kind of felt a lot of things breaking and snapping as I went around and I knew in that moment I, I kind of said in my head and out loud I think I've done my ACL and my MCL. When I think about different setbacks and injuries, I feel like it's part and parcel to being a professional athlete. So some people are not as fortunate as others in terms of the types of injuries and how many that they have. And that's just the reality that I've kind of dealt with throughout my career. And I'm no stranger to rehab or injuries. And I think that's also been a blessing in hindsight in terms of when I do suffer another one that I have been through it before, I know I can get on the other side and I kind of know what it takes throughout my rehab in terms of that mental toughness, that resilience and, and the hard work as well it takes because I don't think you realise until you're away from the team and you're doing rehab you know, on your own or with your physio and you're outside of that team environment that you actually realise how hard it is in terms of you know, not doing what you're used to doing on a day to day and what you, what you love doing. I guess from my first injury that I ever had from when I was 15, I broke my leg. Dealing with that and having to find resilience and support from, you know, support networks around me, I feel like that exposed me to that from a very young age at the age of 15. And that almost set me up to have that, that mental toughness and resilience and that, I guess, that quality in terms of knowing what it takes mentally more than anything, because our bodies are incredible. We can do so much physically, but I think a lot of the time it's a mental, challenge for people to be able to come through the other side or to actually back themselves and I've never been one to give up so I feel like for me it's just a kind of proving people wrong that I can get back to doing what I do best and that I can come through the other side and also proving to myself that you know I'm strong enough to do that. 2023 would be first and foremost to get back uh, in as best shape as I possibly can be as strong as I possibly can to ensure that I give myself the best possible opportunity to be in that World Cup squad.